beautiful people. This is a very different video. I don't really know how this video is gonna go, but I guess this is basically just like a more raw. But um, anywho, welcome to today's video. It is currently Wednesday and I have a lot of stuff to do and I'm trying real hard to contain myself and not freak out and have a mental breakdown. Today is a day where we are going to reevaluate our life and our life decisions. I have to go fill over, so we have to pause my skincare routine. Also, this like is half empty. I've used this for the last like four or five years, and it's like half empty now because it accidentally melted in the car and spilled everywhere, so I'm really sad. Try and there's a banana. This is like the sunglasses case. <laughs> sunglasses case section. Quiet. Okay. First pocket. All right. We have Snaps. a banana. I definitely am guessing Raquel. Okay, is this Raquel's bag? Yes! Oh, this is genius. There's a reason it's in my bag. Ugh. Okay, that one's Shay. We've got okay, some is this Shay's bag? Ta-da! I got it, Ray! Right. Okay, while we wait for Shay to get right. here, right. Oh. Here's one that will stay in the toilet. Colin just asked if he, I was like, what exploded in the toilet? Not, not a human. Phone break. And I am gonna go and get food. I just wanna go back to bed now. I went to bed at like 1 a.m. and then woke up at 6.30. Not a good idea. I'm going to bed at 10.30 tonight. Okay, I got this app thing called Not Gonna Lie, right? The trend that everyone's been doing, and I've been answering all of them, and some are crazy. This is on my extra account, so these are all people that I know. And one of them was like, Loki been in love with you since day one, and I'm like, who are you? I wanna know. Somebody else was like, I think you're really pretty and cute, and like, I just can't shoot my shot. And I was like, okay, shoot your shot. And he did, and I know who it is now. And I was like, ah. <laughs> Okay, I just changed into this outfit. Kind of like it. I kind of really want to find some outfits that are like more, not churchy, but sunny. Oh, hi there, Dad. Hello. Sunny outfits. And now we're all going shopping in our huge van. It is so hot here, y'all. What I was saying is I like to wear like sundressy type outfits like my mom has, but I can't find any casually sundressy outfits that are modest, so. Hello, beautiful people. Um, I got these Brazil earrings. They're so cute. We just got back from shopping. I'm sorry I didn't film anything. I just decided I wanted to just shop, hang out, film, and help my mom. And um, just relax, because I didn't want to worry. I have been getting so stressed about getting like all my videos out on time, trying to just perfect everything. And I have been breaking down a lot and not enjoying my time while I've been here. And so I decided, you know what? We're gonna be carefree. We're gonna focus on the mission. We're gonna focus on preparing, focus on that. And then let the YouTube videos come second because I need to have more faith in that, in the fact that everything will work out exactly how it needs to. And so we're gonna work on my faith. How do we think? What do we think? What do we think? Rate the fit. I'm just getting wearing a skirt, but I'm gonna change into this dress that I got from Bohm and it is to die for. It's so cute. I love clothes. It's actually an addiction, but it's fine. I'm learning to budget, learning to work around it, and still get a ton of clothes. Whoops. Anyways, I'm gonna change. Be right back. This makes me so happy. This is so cute. Wait, why do earrings and necklaces like make all the difference? I look like actually bare when I'm not wearing necklaces or braids. I don't know what it is. I just have never been an accessory person. I just don't think to spend my money on that. I don't like wearing, like, I don't like the hassle of it. I think this is the cutest freaking thing in the world. Oh my gosh, it makes me so happy. I think it looks slightly pregnant, but it's fine. I love it so much. It makes me so happy. Try it, Shay. You'll like it. It's healthy for you. It'll make your skin really clear. Why are you swishing it in your mouth? Ew, why did you swallow those up? If Shay dies, you didn't see it's it. It's like me. pee. Ew! Sorry, it doesn't taste 
tastes like pee, it looks like pee. Well, y'all, it is definitely late. And I'm definitely tired. It is messy, messy, messy. We did some packing on the Ohan Adventure channel. I'm sure you will have already seen that, but... I love how, like, in the beginning of this video, I was like, I'm gonna do some self-care for myself. And I'm just gonna head to bed after I brush my teeth. You know, I think I mentioned this. I want to get a lot more into self-care, more into just living life. Because I think I live for my checklists, and I think that me doing my checklists and going up my, about my day in this scheduled, organized way is how you live life, when in reality, not technically. I've realized something. I've mentioned this multiple times in videos. I'm sure you can probably catch it and you've probably heard it, but I have always kind of lived my life for productivity, lived my life for a business, lived my life and did the things in my life for specific purposes that usually have to do with work. I love reading books only if they aren't like wasting my time. I don't like to read books that aren't, that are fictional. I love reading leadership books business books, um, psychology books, habit books, like lifestyle books, all of those. However, those books are always like how to improve my life, how to become better, how to like always try to move forward, right? And it's good to progress, but I think it's always also really good to just live in the moment and be a kid, or I guess for me, be an adult. It's not like me being my parents as an adult, right? I don't know if you guys have heard of the color code but that's one of our friends that created that genius honestly i said i so in the question thing i said and he said he's a very straightforward person which is super helpful for me right so he doesn't like go around the bush or whatever it's called i think you have your priorities for living mixed up life is not about checklists it's about relationships and new learning and rich connections to friends and family you're taking yourself far too seriously and that limits you from just being in life your focus is on achieving and completing rather than the journey and experience of daily life. Like, so true. And you want more, so stop trying to meet those needs by completing tasks. See, I've always, I've been trying to be like, live in the now, live in the moment, be more like productive and like all that kind of stuff. But I've realized I've like completely taken away from what that actually means, like what that actually is. And that's like living in the moment, experiencing life as it comes, being kind of like a rock in a stream. Letting everything just kind of push you around, roll you around just a little bit, you know? So you're, it's kind of shaping you into who you are to become. I have all these books. I have Live on Purpose by Sadie Robertson Huff, which is great. I love that. Colleen Hoover has just been the biggest trend in the world right now. I'm gonna read It Ends With Us and I'm gonna start this book and we'll see where it takes me. I am in the stream. I'm a little tiny rock just being pushed around and just figuring it out, you know? We're figuring out life. So hopefully this is kind of helpful to you to see that like, like my raw real self being like, life is hard and I don't have it all together. Um, I'm just like you, just trying to figure it out, so. Anyways, enough being said, I need to go to bed in the next like 10 minutes. So I'm gonna read for a couple minutes and go to bed. 